Hello guys and welcome back to the BFL Highlights YouTube channel. Today's match was <clears throat> Crusaders versus CeeLo. It took place at the Manchester United Stadium because there was a problem with the other servers on the other stadium. But today's game was uh, an absolutely amazing one uh, with uh, lots of goals. 2-0 to Crusaders who get that three points in the lead from... Uh, and they're tied with Highfield. So at the top, we got Highfield, and then we got Crusaders. It could give that that's a massive confidence boost for the players. Let's just hope that they win the next few games, and then maybe they could be top of the league. But Highfield are top of them. They're on the same level of points, and they're doing okay. Yesterday's match was Manchester three, Richmond three. <clears throat> I am a Richmond fan, so this was disappointing for me. And there was a match report by Hugh Jamadin. And it reads, Close and heated game finished 3-0. A very close game today between Manchester United and Richmond FC ended in a 3-0 draw, but with a large amount of debate. A very close game today between Manchester United and Richmond FC ended in a 3 all draw, but a large amount of debate. The second goal was scored by Richmond, which was quickly cleared away, and many United fans claim it didn't cross the line. However, the referee still gave it, and the game ended up to be tied. Even more debate happened when the VAR intervene intervened at United's third goal because moments before a pitch invader erupted play, but then United put 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 in the net. Nearly all of the Richmond fans protested, but it stood after VAR checked it. Overall, the game was full of pitch invaders, with at least four during the whole game. This game will certainly be important, even though it's the start of the season, as it is questioned how the referees would deal with pitch invaders. I'm just writing... I'm right. I'm j <laughs> sorry about that. Just as I am writing to this chairman of the BFL, made a statement saying that the goal, sa saying the goal stand, and there will be no rematch at all. Here's what he had to say: Manchester's goals stands. No rematch or goal removal. Pitch invader did not touch the ball. The ball was already in the net when he when they kicked it. No appeals will be made. Now, even though it seems like like Bean stood with the referee, he said this afterwards. Game should have been stopped. Ref, would, ref will be spoken to. He then went on to talk about how the referee was joking about being paid, which was also brought up by, by Richmond fans. At full time, the Richmond fans erupted with joy since apparently they should have lost. That's all I have for you tonight. Who jammed in? That was a very wordy report from Who jammed in. I don't even know if I'm saying his name right, but Who jammed in? Anyway, it was a very heated game. Lots of ang I would be very dis. I'm very disappointed. Well, actually, hold on. We should have lost. So it's one point for Richmond. It's good. Anyway, back to CeeLo versus Crusaders. It was a really good game. Uh, I it was streamed on Twitch, BFL, Premier League Live, and yeah. Let's look at the highlights of that. Let's go and observe. <laughs> 